every day we, we climb onto a motorcycle we're we're risking um, risking our lives it's uh, but uh, if you walk around here in the bivouac and, and ask anybody to, to stop um, uh, in the race for sure they say no it's it's our love it's our passion and for, for sure for Paolo was the same thing it was he'd competed many years in Dakar and he loved the event we're all we're all human and um, we're all here to look after each other and um, yeah it's just uh, we just try to need need to try and regroup now and um, get to the finish line ourselves uh, do do a best result as we can for Palo but for sure is I would rather have Palo here in the in the in the bivouac with us and um, we'll do that any day of the week Um, on the liaison, I uh, had a little problem with the car, just an axle, so guys are getting it fixed up right now, and we'll be back on our way to the start, so that's the Dakar experience. Not normal, but things happen, so here we are. We had a long delays on today, like 377. Uh, had something going on in the front end, so it ended up being an axle. Uh, I don't know, things happened, just got hot or whatever. So went to change the axle and then it messed up the diff a bit as well. So they decided to change both axles and the diff and then we'll be good to go. So taking a little bit more time than we expected or thought it would be, but it'll be all good. I know, we can change the C'est bon, on est dedans. Keep them there. Just get my axles in and get everything right back together. <laughs> we like to win stages. It's great. Yeah. We had like a five hour stage today and we finished one minute apart. Yeah. So we're like the same person basically. Yeah, pretty much. I think I think today if, if Mitch didn't have his problems, him and I would have been neck and neck all day. Alright guys, I want to show you what kind of precision engineering happens at the Dakar. <laughs> The mechanic de precision. <laughs> what are you doing, guys? Playing pétanque, French pétanque. This is a really French thing to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really friendly, friendly game. Um, everyone can play. There is no, there is no. Can real... Americans play? Of course, come. No. Okay guys, now we've got a lot of pretty funny names here on the bivouac. There's the famous ones like Monsieur Dakar. Really strong. Mr. Dakar, Stefan Peter Hansel, 
the Prince of the Dunes, Mr. Nasser Al Atia. Are you just seeing some old friends? Yes, he's my best friend. El Matador, Carlos Sainz. Joan, el gearbox is important. One of my favorites, the Tsar of the Dakar, Vladimir Shagan from Kamaz. But I just recently learned of a new nickname, which I have to say is one of the best I've ever heard. I want to introduce you guys to the Kalahari Ferrari. Get in, get in, the, get in the frame there. All right, Ross Branch, the Kalahari Ferrari. All right, man, can, can you make like a donkey e all? No, don't do that. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, that's why I tell my three-year-old daughter to do, make a sound like that. My nickname is Kalahari Ferrari. I live in the Kalahari Desert and uh, it actually came from the locals there. You know, Kalahari Ferrari in our terms is a donkey cart. It's a mode of transport that the, the local people use in Botswana. Like, how fast can the actual donkey cart go? <laughs> donkey carts don't go that fast, you know. It can only be like one horsepower or two horsepower because there's one or two donkeys towing them. So. <laughs> Giving it to you by the locals means a lot to me as well, and uh, you know, it's close to my heart. I don't know any other one. Toby doesn't have one. <laughs> Toby deserves one. Yeah, Toby deserves one. <laughs> I just haven't figured out what we're going to call it. The Moto Mullet. Yeah, Moto Mullet. Fast Moto Mullet. <laughs> uh, I don't 